Hey Sam, welcome to December, you lucky dog. I can't believe you found all of those collectibles and made that one million dollars off of collectibles. That is ridiculous. 50k a piece, man. That is crazy. I'm out here struggling, but look, I got five hundred and fourteen thousand dollars myself. Oh my goodness, look at that pile of manure. That's a lot of shite right there. Okay, so what's been going on? Let me take you up and show you. I have fulfilled my promise to you. I have gone back and uh, planted all of my fields. Uh, I've harvested my fields last month as well, so I had some wheat that I pulled in. I've got over 200,000 liters of wheat right now. But the big thing that I had promised was I was going to clear off this wooded lot up here. Not only did I get it cleared off, I made $525,000 clearing it off. Let's get out of the road here. Here we go. Made $525,000 clearing off this lot. So I cleared it and then I had to landscape it. So when I <clears throat> you know, spent a little bit of money to flatten out the corners, to flatten out the hills, to smooth out the edges, that kind of stuff. So once I did it, and it's still rough. I mean, there's still some rough parts on it. Um, but yeah, listen, this amazing. I currently got it at a 98% yield bonus. I've got wheat on it. It's already been um, fertilized. It has been uh, wheat in the whole nine yards and look at this it's gorgeous so this field I promise to have it cleaned and ready to go well I got it actually planted it took a lot of man hours it was just me out here but I did hire up a couple AI guys to come help me and were able to cut the timber up and get the timber out of here and it was a lot more than the 200,000 I thought I was gonna get for it I got a good chunk of change which makes me want to get this property over here now <laughs> and do the same thing with it I can see how you got to that two million man timber is the way to go now right now my neighbor over here has barley this bar I believe this was barley barley yeah barley and uh, he don't want it no more so I do so I'm gonna buy this one <laughs> got the money that's burning a hole in my pocket I got to got to got to have it right so buy that bad boy right there look at there we now have everything that I wanted so from the front of the road up to the train track and over here train track slash the river all the way down we now have everything between the small creek there and the river that comes through that way so eventually i would like to get all of this around the town and kind of like be centered around the body of water and have everything within the body of water but you know that's not a big deal. This is more than enough out here for me to handle. Been playing around with some AI tools and trying to get somebody to come out here and put these two fields together and work those fields. So I cut all the timber here. I cut all the timber off of between 16 and 15. And now I have a straight shot going through there. I'll take you over there and show you what it looks like. Oh, sorry. Don't report me. Don't report me. I was just buying me a new piece of land, baby. <laughs> all right. I'm sick of the cows. Okay, I'll just throw it out there. I'm, I'm kind of sick of the cows. So we're not up to any birth rates as of yet. So still no cattle are still no calves, which means no milk. So we currently producing no milk. Now, by my estimates, we should be producing milk in the next couple of months. So obviously, I'm going to keep the cattle around. Looks like we got products out over there. Chickens have been doing good. That is a good spend of wheat. And like I said, with that last harvest, I've got about 200,000 liters of wheat in my silo. In addition to that, I've been pushing out the wool. We're going to make a big wool run. <laughs> Look at all that. We're going to push it out and see what it looks like. Just planted back the field on the upper 40 and then I planted back this field to see how it turned out. Oh, it still needs fertilizing. 50%, but it's in. What about weeds? Weeds, weeds, weeds. Oh, good, 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 good. I did good on the weeds. Let's go up here and see what I know there's going to be products out up there. There is no need to go up there without a trailer. So let's go get a trailer and we will pick up everything up at the shrub farm. So things are going good out here. All my fields are planted. Everything is looking amazing. I've got um, most, if not all of my crops um, in some sort of rotation so that every month or at least every other month Oop, this is the wrong trailer what am i doing here let's go get the other products we'll go up to the uh, shrub farm here in a minute so the way i've got the fields currently staggered right now is basically when they start coming in every month or every other month uh, between two crop two cycles i will be able to actually have a harvest that means i'm going to have this constant um, uh, influx of wheat 
And the constant influx of the wheat is great because I'm gonna be using the wheat to feed the chickens. Well, that's got me to thinking, well, if I'm using the wheat for the chickens and that's what I really enjoy is the chickens and the eggs, should I even keep the cows? I, I, don't, I don't know. But the downside of getting rid of the cows is currently the cattle allow me to get a vast amount of resources that I use in my greenhouses. So that means I get slurry, which I put in my production uh, plant to be able to flip that over and make it into solid fertilizer. I get manure, which I use in my greenhouses all the time as well. So getting rid of the cows mean that I'm gonna have to start spending money on manure and fertilizer and stuff like that. So I don't know if that's a smart thing to do or not. So I have to, I have to think about what that um, what that really means for me at the end of the day. So um, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to keep the cattle, but you know, I at least got to keep the cattle till I figure out if they're making, producing any uh, milk content for me, you know, where I can make some money off the milk. I at least got to try, right? I, I can't abandon it until I at least give that a try. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, keep the cattle for as long as I can, but if it doesn't work out, cattle are gone and all it is is going to be just a massive amount of um, chicken farm. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. Just chickens. Chickens, chickens, chickens. <laughs> All right, let's go up and get the rest of this loaded up here real quick. All right. Everything is in good order except for the oats. And the oats go over to the oat drink. Here we go. Oats are in. So let's pick up our byproducts here, which is our oat drink as well as anything else we might have out. Got a little potatoes and there's a little bit of bread for us. Let's see if something else is gonna pop. Usually I drive away, something else <laughs> comes, up and spins, comes out and spawns on me. Give it a second here. Come on now. There it goes. Oh, I just love that look. That's so cool. Okay, we got potatoes. Uh, we have got oat drink and we've got some bread. Let's see how much money we're gonna make off this. There we go, 9,139 bucks. Let's back up here and get our eggs. There we go, beautiful. Strap it down, see how much we got. 9,000 liters in eggs. Let's see how much money this is gonna make us. There we go, $21,593 in eggs. And every month they consume, this is maxed out at 720 chickens, they consume a, anywhere between eight and 10,000 liters of of wheat and uh, you might say well that's that's an that's a very high expense well if I grow the wheat and I sell the wheat check this out so if I'm selling the wheat oh it's the very first one good gosh okay so let's say it's 10,000 so it's um, 700 per thousand so it'd be seven times as a seven thousand dollars right so I spend seven thousand dollars and I make 20 to 25 that's a pretty good return on my money and I'm not really spending that money because what I'm really spending is I'm spending the money on being able to plant the crop right so because I'm making my own fertilizer uh, and I have a weeder that I bought and purchased and that weeder is an organic weeder so I don't have to worry about you know any pesticides or anything like that I do have a sprayer in case I need it and I do have a little bit of pesticide up at the farm or at the farm shop where I, I could go up and get that if I need to but to the most part uh, I don't have to worry about it right and that just makes life easy uh, so I'm using my own crop I am bringing out my own uh, eggs from my chickens with my own crop and it's not really a huge expense at that point I should probably take the time to break it down and find out exactly how much money I'm spending on on each crop uh, so that I know you know what my breakdown is from my eggs but as of right now it's it's not it's not bad let's see if oop, wrong bay <laughs> let's see we got to turn this into a flatbed Let's see, the Massey need any repair? Let's go ahead and repair the Massey while we're here. Beautiful. Yeah, like I said, I haven't broke down and look at the actual 
expense that it's costing me to, you know, plant and harvest the wheat. Um, but I would suspect the plant and the harvest is less than what wheat goes for, right? So you can argue that at a minimum, uh, what you sell the wheat for has to be at some profit point, price point, right? Or it wouldn't be profitable to actually grow wheat to begin with. So in that stage, you can say that, you know, whatever I'm spending is significantly less than 7,000. Well, it looks like this grass is ready to be hauled off as well. Oh, look at all of this we got out. So I did not haul anything off last month, just so that we can have a big haul this month. I was super excited about doing that. So look at there. Now I've also learned that I need to uh, work on how I'm, oh, we are full up. That is the first time we have been full up since we started working the shrub farm. And it looks like there's no shrubs going, so I think I might be missing something. We will check those out here in a little while as well. Let's get these delivered up. Nice, 17,000. We've got at least one, maybe even two full loads left to bring back up, which is going to be amazing if both of those are 17,000 as well. There we go, 10,300. So 17,000 for the first load, 16,000 for the second load, and 10,000 for the third load. That is amazing. So that would be 34, let's just round it up to 35 because everything was a little over the mark. So $35,000 worth of shrubs this month. All right, it took a little manipulation, but I was able to get them all in there. <laughs> I love it. And the only downside to this uh, kind of trailer is when you zoom in, because it's so tall, you go right in the front of it. You kind of like smack your head against the cab. <laughs> you got to zoom out, stay away. Otherwise, you kind of zoom in and smack your face on it. But it's nice and stable. Even though it's stacked three high, it is nice and stable trailer. Love this little trailer. $29,000, that is amazing. $29,560 in wool. Now, I still have, I think it's close to 3,000 liters of wool in the silo, so I can always bring that over at some point as well, and make a few dollars off of that, but that's amazing. That's awesome. December's a great time to be selling wool. All right, let's get back to the house. We have got some harvesting to do, and we also got to cut grass. Probably should have stopped and fixed the harvester so that we ensure we get a good crowd. But I think it's less than 20%. Hold on, we need to look at this. Um, let's look to see what our harvester is here. So we are at 9%. Yeah, so we are good. It won't impact us from a uh, harvest point of view. We can go ahead and run this thing all we want. Well, <laughs> we can run a little bit of it. We don't want it 20% broke because it'll impact the harvest. All right, it's a little later in the day. Currently got the AI worker out there doing the uh, harvesting for me. Thought I'd come over here and cut these fields real quick. All right, here we are at the big field. Let's get everything down and get this cut. Oh shit, stump. Oh my God. I missed that one. I just saw it. Holy crap, I couldn't stop in time. That suck. That's gonna leave a bruise. <laughs> That'll leave a mark. I can't believe I, I missed that stump when I was cleaning up. But yeah, there's the new field. It is so much easier to cut without the trees. Especially with the trees here in the middle. Just make it into one big field. Makes it so easy just to fly down through here. Even the little pea sump on top, I was able to uh, kind of incorporate it into a route. Where it was uh, so like I come down through here, come across here, as long as there's no traffic coming, pop up here. I make a little UE right here. Oh, and if I get too close to the fence, it does that. <laughs> 
I mean, I got, I cut down these little trees that were here. I think there's even a small stump left over here, if I recall last time I cut this. Yeah, there it is. I just ran over it. There's a little stump there I forgot to get. I just come down through here and then I just jump across, split those signs, hit the road. and back around. It is so nice. Isn't that incredible? It's just, I never envisioned I could take these fields and kind of put them together like this and end up with something like this. It's just, it's kind of mind-blowing. You know, oh, got on the crop. Uh, it's mind-blowing what you can do if you just, you know, you just put your mind to it, set a vision, and just go for it. <laughs> A lot of back-breaking work, though. I have to tell you that much. A lot of breaking, back-breaking work. But you know all about that, brother. All right, looks like my contractor is done over there. My AI is done. We'll go check him out here in a few minutes, but I'm going to get this cut first. And then we got to get out here and tether it. This has to be hay. I need hay for the cattle. Uh, so the last time I cut this was uh, silage, or grass, I should say. Uh, which I put the grass inside my production shed or my production my farm supplies uh, production I can turn the grass into hay uh, but there's no there's really no need to, to pay to you know to dry the get the grass out in that production when I can just tether this and pick it up As, I mean I have the equipment so there's no reason that it costs me more to make grass into hay than it does so I'm not doing that I'm not going to spend the extra to do that all right, here we go with the second one. Get it filled up here, get the AI back working. We just got a little bit more to do and we'll be done. There we go, tethered up. Looks like the AI worker is 100% done now. Let's get over there and see what we can do. Oh, I didn't tether this piece, that's okay. We'll dump up the harvester or we'll offload the harvester and then we'll take the harvester and put it up and then we will come back and get the tractor. Ooh, and then we get to come out here and bale some straw. Now look at all these rocks. We have just, just, just finished renting a rock machine. I got to rent it up again. <laughs> what do we got in here? Another 2,000? All right. Going to take it all? Yeah, baby. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Let's see, got a little bit of eggs out. What we got over here? Three pallets full? All right, we might have to come back and get those. However, our next thing on the list is manure. <laughs> we got crap to move. Not only do we have crap to move, we got slurry crap to move as well. So we've got to get rid of this manure and we've got to get rid of our slurry too. So that is not going to be pretty. See if I can back this in here. Whoa, 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 on top. That's a little too aggressive. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta get her done. Okay, there we go. Got all the manure out. This is my sixth or seventh trip. I don't remember right now. <laughs> it's been a lot of trips. <laughs> Let's get this dumped in. We'll see how much is in the distributor when we're all said and done. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, distributor. 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 261,000 liters of manure. That's a lot of crap. Oh, we're getting a little low on seeds. And we got zero water. Oh, no. So what is that doing to our production plants? Let's see here. Down to 32,000. 32,000. 32,000. That's not too bad, but our... Big one is this one here, down to 48,000. Okay, so we are definitely gonna have to haul some water. If you recall, my water tanker actually got stolen. So good thing I got a little bit of money in the bank because I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna take care of the water. But I will figure that out in a little while. But we have got to haul some slurry, slurry, slurry. 
This is gonna take forever. Let's see here. Let's just go ahead and park this for now. Need to wash it after the manure's been in it. Don't want to haul anything with the manure in it. Alright, so I'll just show you my hookup here for my slurry. So I've already got it filled with the last little run that I made. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the slurry in the production shed. And then the slurry along with the manure is helping me make fertilizer. So I'll show you that here in just a second. So let's offload that. Go into our production shed. So here we have manure and slurry. So a thousand of each gives us 2000 of our solid fertilizer. Now we're about maxed out on solid fertilizer. We are currently maxed out on storage for manure. And uh, so that's the reason I wanted to go and get some more silage to throw in here, or not silage, some more um, slurry to throw in here so it can go ahead and make a little bit more solid fertilizer. And then I'll take out what is in the solid fertilizer and move that over here to our, our other production shed, or our other silo, I should say. All right, let's load it up. Now, this little trailer here doesn't take very much, so it's only 8,200 8, liters at a time. So this is kind of slow. There's how much does the cows have? I think it was like 54,000 liters of, of slurry in there or something like that. Yeah, it was like 54,000 liters. Of oh my goodness, look, they need TMR. They always need TMR. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got to haul some TMR too. We should do that next. Let's dump this. Okay, so I want to get another trailer. Let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Anything on sale? Uh, let's see here. No, I don't need to be making chaff. I mean, if I was making silage, maybe, but nah. Okay. So I love this little trailer that I have here. So let's find another one. Where was it? Trailer trailers, I think. So the Banter 2XL, I think this is the one I like. I like the extension version. And my other one is black, so let's keep this one green. I don't care for a cover. So we will get this one. And we will have it ready for us. So we'll run up and grab that in a little while. So I'm gonna make a couple more slurry runs here, and then I'm gonna run up and grab the new trailer, and then we'll haul some TMR. All right, just got back with a new trailer. Let's load it up with some TMR. Let's feed these cows. So let's do some quick calculations on our TMR. So we've got 100,000, so we've got a little over 52,000 liters that we can put in. We've still got lots of hay. I was stupid. I put a lot of hay in there. That was so silly of me. So we can dump all this TMR in here. This 34,000 should go all in with no problems. Now, first time using this piece of equipment, don't know which side we're tipping on. Don't like the back, we want right side. There we go, right side, get it straight in. All right, let's see how the cows look now. So we can then make one more run, 34,000, let's do that. Yeah, they're over 53 now. And it's not the 53, it's the 109 up here, the full capacity, because when I hit 110, that's it, can't put no more in. So, you know, I screwed myself by putting all that hay in there. It was so easy, I just had a couple of bales, I brought them in on the trailer and threw them down and bam, it was full. I was like, son of a gun. That was not fun. Okay, um, let's see, let's take the big tractor. We'll get the, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this and uh, get the baler. Drop this down, turn it on, grab this straw. This tractor and baler makes quick work of getting this straw, I tell you. Can even split this row right here. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay, Sim, there we go. Last of the hay is up. You know, Sim, I was thinking, you know, with you kind of getting to the point where you are on your farm and me getting where I'm on my farm it's really just 
we're stable right now you know brother there's really no hardships there's really nothing to kind of talk about there's nothing really to share it's just a matter of growing and keeping going right we're just growing and keep it going so I think the next video I send you is either going to be milk or no cows <laughs> so I think that's what you should expect from me is one more video brother one more and that one more will be either we will get rid of these damn cows and we'll do something else or we will deliver milk one of the two and that's what we're gonna do all right brother I know you got one more video coming my way I want to see that roller coaster man let me see that roller coaster we'll see you in the next one